Welcome to episode 34 of Boston Swap, a director of football challenge here on Boston United FM. <whistles> Boston United of Conference North and Boston Town of the United Counties League were switched in the non-league football pyramid. I took over at United down at level 9 and have won a promotion every season since. We've also won the FA Vars and the FA Trophy on the way. We have overtaken the club's original status and have now made it back to the Football League. We even went straight through into League One and now the Championship. All with a perfect director of football, Mr Transfer Genius, taking control of transfers, scouting and backroom staff. We played Arsenal away in the EFL Cup in the last episode and were defeated by four goals to one. Today we face another Premier League giant having been drawn to play Manchester United in the FA Cup third round away at Old Trafford. The Red Devils are top of the Premier League and actually pipped Manchester City to the title last season. This tie has similar ingredients to last season when we defeated City in the fourth round in a home replay. Man United have won their last 11 games in all competitions, including a 4-0 home win over Bristol City just a few days ago. We're in pretty good form ourselves, winning our last two and five of the last seven. We have beaten Norwich City and Cardiff City over the past week. Lone striker Joe Ritchie is in great form, having scored seven in his last six matches. We've actually risen up to the playoff positions with our recent good run. We've got to 44 points already, so we should be in no danger of being relegated, which is a fantastic achievement. We're also the second highest scorers in the division, behind leaders Swansea City. If we take a quick look at the Premier League table, we can see just how good Man United are winning 18 of their 20 games, and five points clear of City. Our parent club Newcastle United are struggling down in the relegation zone. We've got a full squad to choose from and this includes a new signing. The January window has just opened and we've brought in Ulrich Kamga, a 20-year-old Cameroonian, for just £20,000. He had a decent scoring record for a team in his homeland and can also fill in on the right wing if needed. Charlie Savage plays against his and his dad's former club. However, he has missed the last few matches. Can we repeat last year's heroics? Let's go to the game. Just looking at the Man United lineup, I can see Leroy Sane on the left wing. They've got Paul Pogba, who could be getting on a bit. In midfield, there's Hakimi at right back. Some pretty low squad numbers in there, a couple of high ones as well. But we'll just have to see how we get on. Let's kick off. Early free kick for Sane. It's gone into the box, he's hit the bar. And it's gone out for a goal kick. We've got a long throw launched into the box. There's Pogba in his own penalty area, but gives it away. There's Kai Kai into Agustin. Can he get inside the area? He gets the cross in. It's come to Savage on the edge of the box, but he gives it away. Now Carlos Henrique's through, but the keeper tips it wide. Another long throw from us into the area towards Kai Kai. He's through. He's going to have a shot. No, he's blocked and it's gone out for another throw. Throwing for United this time. Goes in far post. It's cleared. Piet Harris gives it to Ritchie up top. He collects the ball back off him. He's through. He's going to score. He is. That's 1-0 to Boston at Old Trafford. Fantastic counter-attack. Up to Ritchie. He's fouled, but Piet Harris picks the ball up, takes it past the defender and slots it into the top corner. It's 
highlight immediately after the goal. This could be good or it could be bad. They've gone back to their goalkeeper. We do get it back with Savage. Now Brian at the back. Out to Thomas, the fullback, who's advanced. Trundle and Savage playing the ball between each other in the midfield. The cross comes in, it's to Agustin at the far post, but he can't quite get it past Gasparini. Free kick with Sane goes into the box, it's cleared. Now we've got another counter-attack on here, if we can play the right balls. We do, it's out to Wade now to Agustin. Cross comes in far post to Kai Kai, can he control it? He does, and we've gone 2-0 up. Joe Ritchie, he's been in fantastic form, and that gets him his 12th goal of the season. We've gone 2-0 up at Old Trafford. It's not even half an hour gone yet. Kai Kai does brilliantly, crosses the ball in, and Ritchie volleys it into the far corner. That's 2-0. Free kick for United, given to Nikolic. Sane is trying to get there. He does, but straight into the side netting. And we've made it to half time. It's still 2-0. This is very similar to the home replay we had against City last year where we went 2-0 up in the first half. They did get it back to 2-1, but they couldn't quite find an equaliser. Looking at the players, Savage has picked up a yellow card. He's not doing brilliantly, so he's a candidate to come off early in the second half. Agustin is struggling with fitness. We always have options on the bench. But for now, the only thing we can do is go out there and try and play exactly the same way. Got another long throw. Surely we can't make it free. Just wide from Kai Kai. Right, we've reached the hour mark. I think it's time to bring Savage off. He's not been playing just lately. He's just recovered from an injury. Harvey White has been playing in his place. So he can come off the bench for him. Right, there's less than 20 left. I think I'm going to do the same thing as the previous sub, midfielder, on a booking. We've got a like-for-like -like replacement, Chad Shelley, our former youngster who we now have on loan. He can come on instead of Thomas Trundle. We'll save the remaining substitution for later on. Right, free kick for United down the line. We do pick it up, launch it clear. Gone as far as Pogba, who seems very deep. Not sure if he's playing as part of a back three. But he picks the ball up again. They're now attacking down the left-hand side. The cross comes in, but it's blocked and cleared. Now with just a couple of minutes left, I think this final change has to be made. Henson Agustin is looking a bit tired out there. So I think I'm going to bring on Matthew Edwards to play in his place. He's a left-footed striker who can also play out on the right-hand side as an inside forward. And we could be on the cusp of another fantastic victory. Free kick for United goes in far post, but it's cleared. Hakimi's got it. The cross comes in and they've got one back. Carlos Henrique gets his second goal of the season at the second attempt. Belch with a free kick. It's cleared by Cabango. Hakimi gets there, gets the cross in near post. Keeper saved it, but Henrique puts the rebound in. There's four minutes of stoppage time to go. But those four minutes, they seem to zoom by. And we've actually won at Old Trafford by two goals to one. United only getting their goal in stoppage time. And on the balance of play, I think we deserved it. We've had more of the ball, 53% against their 47. More shots on target as well. And 
And there we can see Manchester United lined up with an entirely foreign starting eleven, But it was our team of mainly English and British players that came out on top. Through to the fourth round, we get £160,000 for winning. But we should get much, much more in gate receipts. As I think there were 72,000 people there. There we have it, 1.4 million almost in gate receipts just for that one game away at Old Trafford. That should keep us going for a little bit. That basically takes us out of an almost negative balance back towards 1.5 million. And it was Piet Harris that got man of the match. I guess we'd better zoom forward and find out who we get in the draw. And we've been drawn at home to fellow championship side Middlesbrough. They're down in 14th on 33 points. Very much an inconsistent side with eight wins, nine draws, nine losses. But we've got to be confident with our recent run, especially after today's result, of getting into the fifth round. Looking at the fixture list, the Middlesbrough FA Cup game comes in just before a Middlesbrough home game in the league. We'll play them twice in the matter of four days. In terms of the next episode, I think we'll come back at some point in February. It could well be for an FA Cup fifth round game. If we're drawn against another big Premier League side, having got through against Middlesbrough. Otherwise, it's just going to be a January transfer window roundup, plus a league game. If you've enjoyed the content of this video, please don't forget to leave a like. And for more videos, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.